Hello guys, in this video, we will be learning to play videos in the AR scene. Setup of this project will be the basic setup with no changes in the AR fragment. So come back again when you are done setting it up. Now create a raw folder. And you will need a video file. You can grab any video file you like. and paste it in our raw folder you will also need a special 3d sfb model which is designed to play videos on its surface i'll put a link to that sfb file in the description box you can download it from there paste that sfb model in the raw folder Now in your activity main.xml file add a fragment set width and height to match parent id fragment name form.google ar scene form ux dot ar fragment Now go to your main activity dot java file so this is what we will be doing to render videos in our scene. First, we will create an object of te external texture. And then we will create an object of media player. We will set the media player on external texture surface. And after that, we will build a 3D model and set its texture to the external texture that we created and it has the media player on its surface. After that, we'll filter out chroma key colors from the videos. So let's do it. Create an object of external texture class. Create an object of media player. R dot draw dot the video. Set its sur surface to the to the texture surface by calling media player dot set surface texture dot get surface. Set looping to true. Now build the model. Set source this r dot raw dot video screen. Build and accept the model create a go global variable of model renderable class we'll call this video renderable video renderable equals model renderable we will set the texture on the video renderables surface by calling video renderable dot get material dot set external texture the first parameter that goes inside is the name of the texture in our case it's a video texture and if you pass anything other than video texture in this then your video will not be rendered so be careful with that second parameter that goes is this texture now we'll filter out the chroma key color by calling video renderable get material set float 4 and the name that goes is key color again it has to be key color if it's something else then th you will have trouble filtering out the chroma key colors from the video create an object of new color Of 0 0.01843f, then 1.0f, and 0.098f. This is our chroma key color code. And this line is important because we have to filter something out from the video. 
if we don't pass this then maybe some other colors will be filtered out from the video and we will not be able to see the video as it should be seen so nowadays most of the videos or the movies you see filter out chroma key colors so if if we also filter out that color then we will be able to see the video as it should be seen we'll create an object of ar fragment get support fragment manager find fragment by id fragment cast it to ar fragment we will set set the ar fragment on tab stain listener create an anchor node and then create the anchor from the hit result now we'll check if our media player is not playing then we'll play it and we will set the texture on frame available listener and when the frame is available then only we will set anchor nodes renderable as the video renderable and after that we will remove texture from on frame available listener by calling texture dot get surface texture set on frame available listener null and if the media player is already playing then we will set the anchor node renderable as the video renderable now we will change the size of our our node based on the uh, aspect ratio of the video so to do that get the width of the video by calling media player dot get width and height request media player dot get video height now we can change the scale of the anchor node to the aspect ratio of the video by calling anchor node dot set local scale new vector 3 create a global variable of float data type we'll call this height this will be the height of our video and it will be 1.25 meters width of the video will be height into width by height on the y axis will pass height and on the z axis it will be 1.0x After that, we will add our anchor node to the scene. Add child anchor node. Okay, so let's test our app. Our plane has been detected. Tap on it. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like it's this video because doing that will keep me motivated to bring more awesome content for you guys. So like and subscribe.